let us continue playing Dwarf Fortress. We are still trying to build a sky fortress, or at least a wooden tree fortress, or something of that nature. And so far, it's going quite well. The second floor is nearly done, minus the outside wall and the continuation of the stockpile. A bit of the flooring needs to be done, but you know, that's getting there. It's certainly getting there. The factory floor is coming along reasonably nicely. And we're just about to start work, really, on the fourth floor, which honestly I think is probably going to end up being the grand dining room, considering most of our food prep is in the third floor, actually. Then we might go up to a fifth floor, which will actually, again, be actual residency areas, which is going to be a bit of a challenge in terms of building it, but if I, you know, I'm going to build sort of individual room bases. The dormitory at the bottom is fine, and we might actually have to build a second one. But uh, for the moment, yeah, things are going okay. It's just taking a while because obviously while in normal fortresses we'd be underground and we'd just dig out the area, we actually have to finish everything here. So, I've set up a few queues as well. Uh, the one thing I didn't do was sort these out. So we've got a few more brewery things. Still got some stuff developing and we still have some more building going on. In fact, it might even be worthwhile to put a wood stockpile up here just to try and speed things up a little bit but then I don't really want to get in the way of all this maybe a small one there won't get too far in the way they will walk over stockpiles I suppose so it's not too bad actually we can uh, designation there's a way I can remove this Remove designation, that's the one. There you go. So we've got two small wood stockpiles just literally there to try and speed some stuff up. And we still got the central path, which I'd like to keep. I don't think it actually bothers them walking over stockpile stuff, but still. Whatever we can do to try and avoid things, we probably should. So, cave fish roast, we have plenty of stuff coming in. We celery, chicory biscuits. You know, there's a lot of value going up here. 39 superbly prepared, superbly prepared cave fish roast. Duck egg, duck egg, duck egg, and minced cave fish. I hope you like your duck eggs. So food we're sorted on for a while, but that's also, as mentioned, our principal trade at the moment. At least until, you know, we get the ability to actually try something else. I think they are taking wood to stockpiling, which is nice. So I'm trying to think about this as well here, but I think I've got to do a bit more shenanigans with this. Build a wall in there. I suppose I could build the entire sheet wall. I was, I was thinking I'd have to build another layer, but actually I guess I can just go put the corner bits in and then just build off of that. And do the same up top, provided I haven't messed that up. Doesn't seem as if I have, so... We'll just go like that. Thankfully we do have a small wood stockpile there, but again, mostly trying to speed some things up rather than anything else. And uh, once I actually designate um, the things, I think they have to take them from where they're designated, otherwise they lose the item, get confused, and we don't want confused dwarves. I do wish we could claim this, though. I mean, I'm sure I have a stone stockpile somewhere. I can't remember where I put it, though. Finished goods, we definitely have. Yeah, I have a stone stockpile. Maybe they just don't consider it ours yet. Which I guess is possible. But anyway, awesome approaches, and with it comes trade. Ah, however, very sorted on booze. Which is priority one for the dwarves in a lot of ways. They care about booze more than they care about anything else. We just happen to have a lot of other stuff. Alright, so we can't spin Fred anymore. I had that job on repeat. Also got some wooden... I've got some various bits and pieces on the develop as well. 
just in case we need it. So I can't make any more cheese, we don't have any milk. And we've already milked all of our animals up to this stage, so all good there. Do we have enough doors is the big question, I suppose, now? No, we're one door short. Well, I'm not going to set anything else to be constructed except possibly that end wall. But we're going to leave the rest of it. What we could do with do it getting is a few more bins and things for storage, but worry about that a little later. What do we actually have in the cart still? Some various barrels, some bags, cloth. Do I not have a cloth stockpile? I do actually, it's there. Maybe once they get the rest of that built, I'll make an anything stockpile and just fill that in. But this is, the, this is a nice part of the fortress, really. I don't have to do much. Everything is kind of set up. Industry is happening. Everything is kind of set at this stage. It is literally just construction and making things look tidy, which I care about. But everything else is going okay. Food might be a bit of concern come winter, but considering the amount of fruit trees we have, the amount of tubers and grass and everything else that we've picked up, I'm honestly not too worried about where the fortress is right now. Yeah, that's going to eternally bother me. Oh, we're having, making something out of turtle by the look of it. Pond turtle. And apparently he's making it out of booze. We might want to... Yeah, we might want to stop this after this one. Because booze, yeah, they can cook with it. They can definitely cook with booze if we don't tell them not to. So, yeah, you are not cooking with the apricot wine. You are not cooking with a plum wine, and you are not cooking with either of those. A few of the others, I guess, we could allow. Not the dwarf rum or wine. Yeah, so we're basically limiting the cooking options to four. I mean, it's fine. It increases the value, but it might change what he's doing now. Yeah, I, might, yeah, I think I cancelled his action, actually, from there. Either that or he just did it anyway. I mean, it's fine. It's value, ultimately. And we do need the tradables. Still, the rules are we're not trading for any metallic items. Can't extract from any raw fish. And what was that? Oh, somebody is stuck in a tree. I should probably try and help him out. Or I should build some more step ladders. Actually amazed at how much use we're getting out of these, but I think we're gonna promote those and just see if we can help him out from that. Hopefully he won't be stuck in there for eight for a long, long time. Just a while. I think the other thing we may want to be doing soon is butchering some of those ducks. Masterpiece Oaken Bin. See, now we're getting to. You must be getting to really high levels of that. So I'm amazed how well the fishing is going, considering they're just fishing in that small little lake area. Also, is that an animal that's not a stray alpaca? We have alpacas here. Why are that not. Wait, yeah. Ugh. Pen and pasture. Okay. So, ignoring all of those, why are our, our alpaca not in this? Especially since it's a breeding pair of them. Hey, the Alpha's liaisons arise. We can do some trading. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Let's just get back to center for the moment. So, we need the trader at the depot, so... 
and we will move some goods. So obviously this is a dwarven caravan. So really what we should do here... Is sort by value here. So this, these are the most valuable things we have right now. And there's a lot of it, in fairness. Uh, plump wine barrel. I don't want to give rid of my wheelbarrows. But yeah, most of our value is in the food, so we're gonna have to stick with that. I think. Got some. I'd be surprised if they're valuable, but. Let's, um, yeah, let's try and sell all our wooden bolts. I mean, we're living like elves. It's to be expected. So let's get some things shipped out there, shall we? And nice to see all the dwarves getting in on the action. Except, of course... The Shadowhawk, who is currently going to eat. But is now actually going to the Trade Depot. It'll take him a while to sort out that for us, but overall that's all good. And that area is now finished. So what I think we'll do here is we'll start building our other workshop now. Yeah, Wood Furnace would be rather, you know, impressive at the top here. We're not going to build one of those. We are, however, going to build a butcher shop. So let me just see how I've done the rooms out here, because I like to be consistent. One, two, and the, yeah, okay, that's fine. So we'll build this out of oak logs, and then we will build a tanner's shop across from it. Okay. So I guess from there, the only other thing we could probably want is maybe another Carpenters up top. Depends how much we want to go into this. Also... Magpie remains and turtle shells. So we still have some shell stuff we could try and make. make some more shell leggings, shell gauntlets, and a shell helm or two. Let's discuss your situation. The world is the same as ever. What do you request of our merchants? So, thinking about what we actually need here, we could do with some gemstones, largely to just try and increase the value of things here. So... No, they're not too important, really. Seeds could be, but we're not going to be underground. We can't trade for an anvil. That's part of the rules. Uh, can't trade for D implements. Now, some leather armor wouldn't be go amiss, in all honesty. some pets actually so we could do with another male cat kind of low priority admittingly uh, maybe some alpacas possibly if we had another breeding pair of alpacas I'd be quite happy this probably isn't as high priority as I'm putting it but I feel we could we could do with some some cheeses yeah we can go for alpaca cheese in all honesty some extracts. If we actually go in for some milks, then I could actually probably make some profit out of that. Convert to cheese and then go from there. Some meat. Actually, some. Some meat wouldn't be too bad, in all honesty, if we went for. What do we want to eat this next thing? I like. I want to eat Wolverine. No, I went, I went the wrong way. Alright, we have to find something else to eat. Yeah, we want to eat red pandas. That's what we want to eat. And grey squir and squirrels. Yeah. That, that sounds good to me. Um, possibly some cave fish, though we can kind of get our own stuff there. Plump helmets. 
Now stone, this is what we actually need. So we're going to decide what stone we want to build out of. And I think ideally obsidian. Because obsidian we can make swords out of. We can also possibly do some other stuff with that. It's also definitely not a metal. Which is the other thing I was just considering before I did this. So if we went for that and then something like... Yeah, marble actually. So that gives us some flux stone. Not that we can do much with flux stone in all honesty, but I feel that's not a bad way to go about things. Um, some barrels. Can't have anything metal. There's some backpacks possibly. Sand. Now I don't know whether glass is actually going to be all that helpful for us, especially since we don't really have the capacity to go and make kilns and things. But, I don't know, maybe. I'd rather have some than not, I guess. So we'll ask for some. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take some charcoal, some coke. Although I don't know how much useful that's actually going to be for us, in all honesty. Potash, and I don't think we need buckets. Splints and crutches we can make ourselves. Right, we are nearly out of... We've, we're fed up of duck eggs. What we want now are... We want lovebird eggs. Lots and lots of the things. And also great... Ho yeah, nah, maybe not. Uh, some large pots would be quite helpful. Maybe a hive or two. Some nest boxes wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing for us to trade for. The problem is we can build a lot of this ourselves, so... And there's some fire clay. It would also be quite nice to have some stone mugs, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll ask, we'll ask for some proper mugs, and we'll want some more red panda leather since you're going to butcher them anyway. Okay, so I think that's where we stand with things. We really don't need those. Can't trade for those. Don't really... Can, can't do a lot with seeds anyway. So I think that's everything we would want. Okay, so that's the import agreement. Kingdom of Kudal. So that's telling us... I think telling us what they have. Which is interesting. Okay. What are they willing what they want? Drinks, headwear, armor, cheese. Cheese might be a bit of a struggle, but we could potentially go cheese. Metal bars? Yeah, we're not allowed to trade metal bars with you. We're onto your tricks there. Quivers, amulets, cloths, and crowns. Okay. So the trade agreement has been done. Uh, General the Banished is still doing his thing there. Apparently they're not set up yet. It looks like they're still unpacking, actually, so... I'll give that a couple of moments. See what we can do. It looks as if, though, somebody is about to butcher things. Okay, so now we can butcher a dead animal. I don't actually know if we've got a dead animal to butcher, but you know. I noticed there was a magpie corpse. Goodness knows what we're going to be doing with these. Magpie remains, hamster remains. I guess it's technically possible. Yeah, we're going to butcher a hamster. Or you're going to use its bones. Unless I missed something, you picked up a hamster and they're making a shell. I am now confused. Masterpiece Oaken Bin. That's not a bad one. And 
Now we're back to making tables and chairs again, so... Okay. I think we do need to put the doors in place, if only to try and limit outside stuff. Actually, why? Who, where is our... Let's say do that now. Ah, okay. That's fine. Seems willing to trade. Okay. So, we're going to add the wooden bolts, add the wooden bolts, add the wooden bolts. And then we're going to add the apricot roast. Okay, so, all of that is kind of useless to us, although not all of it. I certainly wouldn't mind some of these blocks, so, quartzite and... I don't think any of those are metal ore, so it's fine. It's within the rules. It's within the rules, I think. Uh, and then you get in a copper kit. Oh, that's going to be awkward. Does that technically break the rules? I mean, I've got no way to melt it down, so... Dorman wine. Dorman syrup. Cherry wood barrel. Uh, a bucket or two, I suppose. Not too bad. There's some picks, which we'd love to take in normal circumstances. What even can I take here? I guess we might as well go for the cloth bins. And the leather bins, just so we got some stuff in reserve in case we get to that stage. So what's the current trader profit? 558. Five, that's fairly... F that's okay. That's in, that's in line. Some meat. Five dog hearts, we're not going to ask. Here, though, we want some plump helmets. Because it's been a while. Uh, some cave fish. Some more cave fish. And some cave lobster, I think, just to round things out. Do we want some veg as well? Might as well. Spinach leaves. Onions. More onions. Some raspberries. Actually, that'd be quite a good thing to go and plant after this. Fox leather backpack, a couple of those, and a couple of quivers, I think. And then we have some books. I think we're going to have to offer a bit more for this, so let's put that on... Oh, escape. I meant to actually add that to the trade thing. Fifteen of that. Not going to give him all of our precious, precious stuff here. However, a couple of books wouldn't be go amiss. I have to be honest. I actually don't know what you can use the books for, in all honesty. But still, we're going to grab the alpaca cheese. And we're going to grab some cheap cheese. I'm going to see if we'll accept this trade. Seems pleased with the trading. That's fine. So is there anything else I could do for, say, some plum wine? That and maybe the rest of the cider roast. Mm. Fox level water skin would be fine. A rope. Again, not sure what I can use the rope for, in all honesty, at this stage. We could potentially set up a well, although it's going to be really awkward. Not impossible, but awkward. Uh, training spear? Probably not. I guess we could go for some low-end clothing. So that's, that's going to get rather pricey, I think, at this point. It's a couple of mittens. Um, alpaca wool bag. A pigtail bag. Probably not. Uh, 
something wrong with grabbing a few extra bags and storage bits, but... Well, there's nothing really we want. Um... Yeah, water buffalo milk. We can make some more cheese from that, I guess. So it makes a small profit here, and I think to end we'll just grab a training sword. Consider the offer. Okay, so now he's making a ton of it. A ton of profit here. We're not quite up for that. Not without a considerable amount coming to us. So I'll grab the two barrels. In fact, I might grab all the barrels here, including the rum one. Maybe I do go for... Oh, I don't know, I don't know. I think we're just going to take some water buffalo cheese here. Wish we could take some more of that stuff. Wish we could take some more of that stuff. so much profit on us. Problem is with that, with um, the way we're doing this, we don't really have a lot that we can just take that we definitely get a lot of value out of. Except maybe the cloth bins. Cloth helmet spawn. We don't really need the bag of it, though. We no, we've got no way of actually using it, so... Keep pressing T and meet to cancel. Doesn't work like that. Alright, we'll grab the sand on the off chance we could do something of that. Some wheat flour. Grab a chest and grab a bag of sheep wool. Try that. Okay, he still seems willing to trade, but he's now getting to the stage of he wants more. So let's increase that to... 14. There we go. He's, he's pleased with the trading, and I think we're going to end that there. So, broker is no longer required at the depot. So, huzzah, we survived a round of trading. We have a lot of stuff. Go and, gr go and grab all the stuff. Uh, so... Hold on. Uh, there you go. Don't trade any of that. Grab it back. Hopefully. I have to say hopefully because I don't know whether or not they'll do this. Hey, we gained a goat kid. Okay, so... Straight goat kid. Tame. I think he's actually been added to the bottom. Okay, add that there. Hopefully somebody will sort that out in the meantime. But hey, more animals is good. And look at that, we've got shell armor in place now. I mean, it's not very good, but hey, we got it. Also, now we can probably start marking up a couple of animals for slaughter. So, what I'm thinking here is maybe... Oh, actually, that's a point. I need to make sure we're actually claiming these. Because I made sure that... Yeah, nothing's forbidden, so in theory we should take all of these eggs. Also, that's a clear sign we've got too many males. But there we go. Indoors is now potentially locked. Also, build a plot and we'll try and build another row here. Or at least at a row of four anyway. So we do not have any seeds anymore. We don't. So 
Let's rotate. See if we can get any more. And I think we're going to mark one of these ducks for slaughter. Average in size. Yep, you seem good. Now, can I remember how to do this? Nope, I cannot. Um, da -da 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 -da. Pets of livestock, that's the one. Okay. So we have a lot of ducklings. We have a bunch of ducks. We have a couple of drakes. Let's go and go to units. There we go, that's how we do it. References. So that animal is now ready for slaughter. In fact, don't know why it's there. Yeah, why is that one there? Oh well. It is ready for slaughter. And hopefully at some stage it will be. Uh, nobody has gone for the tanning shop yet. Possibly he's going for a level worker. Well, in fairness, that's not strictly speaking level working. Tanning is his own job. Then you have to put the level working on top of that. Top area is nearly done. And now we wait. Actually, let's get the rest of this wall built as well. Because otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to slightly bother me if this doesn't get down. Oak's fine. Mind you, this single square here has been bothering me for a while, if it weren't for the fact they're actually using a darn thing. Oh, and they're actually trying to finish up the inside of that room, which is nice. Heck, I'm even getting involved in the work, unless that's a random trader person. And we gained another alpaca. Okay, nice. Let's zone up another one then. Apparently it's already in there. Oh well, no worries, Evan. But it does mean we have more wool. And potentially more stuff we can do. So let's go shear, shear, shear. Spin, spin, spin. And milk, cheese, milk, cheese. Because that cheese is more valuable to us these days. Also, barrel is being made. I'm going to regret saying this, but we can almost do with a few more dwarves just to get some haulage duty done. The problem is we're nowhere near building that third area yet. Uh, once the second once the second dining room is done, things will be slightly better. It looks as if that is what they are doing. Does mean we will need more doors, and we'll therefore need a dwarf to actually go and do these duties. Door, door, and chair, table, chair. Well, make sure that gets done anyway. So yeah, wood's looking okay. We might want to chop down a little more. Maybe if I get up a level and start thinking about some of these trees. Because some of these are going to get quite a bit of value out of, so... Yeah, there we go. We'll go to that. Thankfully we're in a heavily wooded area, so plenty of resources. We shouldn't run out for a foreseeable future. Oh, also that four square... Oh no, that hasn't been done yet. Well, we're up to about the 35 minute mark, so I think we will call out a video here. With trading successful and things going relatively well, it has to be said. So... Until the next time, folks.
Your friend, the computer, would like to thank you for watching to the end of the video. Please click the like button if you liked it. Please subscribe if you would like to see more content from this channel, and feel free to check out any other videos you are approved for at your clearance level. Please have a good onward day cycle, and we hope to see you again soon.